Hello. Hi. Hey everyone, this hey is Sunglass Rob Hello. from Sport RX. And Tyler from Sport RX Prescription Goggle, Brake Plano Reeler, Eyeglasses. Interrupting Tyler from Sport RX. We are here to talk about the best goggles of 2018. What's on the table here represents our favorite goggles, the best quality goggles, the best, really the best goggles that you could possibly get this season is here. We're gonna tell you why we love them. We're gonna tell you what's so amazing about them. We're gonna talk about some features on the goggles and some features on the lenses. And hopefully after watching this video, you'll know exactly which goggle you wanna buy from SportRx. So we're just gonna jump right into it with the Dragons. Dragon this it. season has really come up. I'm super fan of Dragon right now. They got the Luma lens. Tell them about the Luma lens. The Luma lens is so good. You're hearing about all these these great, uh, I, the, the goggle tint technology. Uh, Dragon is at the top of that as well with the Luma lens. Look how quickly he just popped that lens off. It's super rad. Um, that's also just a, a call out to the quality of the goggle and the yeah. Cool so this is mechanism. this is the Dragon but X2. The Luma lens is going to be great. It's going to enhance contrast. It's going to give you better uh, depth perception cues, enhance depth perception cues, and it's going to make it easier to to discern you know variations in the snow and everything. It's just a better lens. And that's yeah. So all the goggles out here now actually have some sort of new lens technology. We like to call it a color enhancing lens technology. Oakley calls it Prism. Smith calls it Chroma Pop. Um, they're all kind of in the same ballpark. They're not all the same, but they're all kind of in this new echelon of lenses that's just amazing. Pretty much by this season, almost everything is coming is coming up with it, that kind it of technology. It has to. I mean, yeah. it, if you don't have some enhancing You're lens, not on this table. you can't. Yeah, you can't. You're not you the best of the best. The, so here we them. have the Dragon X2. It also comes in the X2S, which is the smaller version, which probably I'm gonna actually... I'm going to fill this on. So, yeah. And then it also comes in a, another version, which is more of a cylindrical, which is the NFX2. Yeah. By the well. way, we have a video on all these Dragon videos. And basically, every goggle on here has its own video and a lot more information that you can find about. But right now, we're going to talk about this X2. What I love about this X2 is its RX ability, its compatibility yeah, say, with the our deal, man? Those look super weird. What, what's inside yeah, your goggle? Yeah, so what's inside here is my prescription insert, which is something that Sporter X does. <laughs> I can actually see now because of this insert and the way that the X2 works is you don't have to take the insert out when you change out the lenses, which is one of the reasons why I really love this uh, X2 for prescription users. But all around, it's an amazing goggle. Uh, it also has a cool, uh, the design of it, the the venting up here has, uh, what do they call it? Do they have a name for it? The, I don't the, know, but the, it's like, it's, it's plastic, it's harder, and it's way better for our inserts. As you can see, they have little arms that hold the, the insert into place. And it's just a lot more rigid. The goggle only keeps it in place. It's nice. We like it a lot. All right. So Dragon is an amazing goggle brand. The X2 kind of series, this NFX APX uh, series is going to have triple foam, silicone on the on the strap, kind of all the things you would assume you would get from a really nice goggle. So that's going to be uh, all about the Dragons there. So after Dragon, we're going to talk about Smith. Smith, talk about Smith. Smith, Smith has Chroma Pop. Uh, an amazing lens technology called Chroma Pop. Their top series goggle is called the IO7. And there's not seven other IOs, but there's a lot of other IOs. The IO7 is, was the seventh anniversary of the IO series, and that's when they came out with the IO7. There's also an IOX, which is bigger. There's an IO, which is a little bit smaller. And then there's an IOS, which is much smaller. We have videos on like which one to pick if you're not sure versus all of those. But the IO7, yeah, the IO7 is like the flagship. The it's the flagship one. It has a slightly easier interchangeable system than all the other IOs. Uh, and by the way, all those dragons that we just talked about and now also these Smiths have an interchangeable uh, lens system and they do come with two sets of lenses. What you're gonna get yes. is something for a bright day and something for an overcast day. Which is which huge. Is, yeah, it's really nice. It's really so uh, IO7, super comfortable, high-tech goggle. Um, Smith uses a really good micro fleece on. on the back right there. They have a Porex filter, Very which helps. They all have the the helmet. I think that's across just about every goggle of Smith. They have the the helmet, the, uh, the buckle in the clip. back, and the, they all all of these have the silicone bead yeah. on the inside. So the other Smith goggle that we want to talk about is the uh, Squad XL. This one actually doesn't have the buckle. This is kind wow. of uh, more of a cylindrical lens technology. Um, it's kind of what the cool kids like to wear is the cylindrical lenses, Ooh, yeah. and the cool kids also like to wear their goggles inside of the helmet, which is why that buckle's not there. It's a little bit more comfortable mm -hmm. this way. Yep. 
The Squad XL is big, it's beautiful, it has amazing optics. Even though it's a cylindrical lens, it has better optics uh, than even a lot of spherical lenses out there. I was a little skeptical of the cylindrical lens tech, but I got to test this goggle out last season uh, in pretty harsh conditions in Mount Hood and it worked amazingly well. So Squad XL is really nice, really big, kind of that oversized goggle situation. Why don't you throw those on yeah, for everybody? Yeah, a little bit bigger on me. The I07 fits me pretty well. Yeah, Even Tyler's, though it's kind Tyler's of medium. more medium small, and I'm more uh, large, extra large for fit wise. No, it's actually. I think you could pull that off. Fits my face pretty well. Yeah, it's holding close, not tight in the nose, but not loose. It's good. Nice. Right, let's talk about Oakley. Oakley is next. So with Oakley, what we have is the flight deck, the standard fit. There actually is an XM as well. It stands for extra medium. It's smaller. This that fits him really well. Name, it's really medium. super you cute. You guys that around it here. So funny. Ah, you can see this fits. It, it's a pretty big goggle. It's on definitely the, the the bigger end. I think it's the largest in the in the video we shot about Oakley's and the, the ones that we recommend in the Oakley line. This is on the biggest. Yeah, if you're really interested in Oakley goggles, we have a full video on just the 2018 best of Oakley goggles with a little bit more of a selection than what we have here. But this is the flight deck. It's that rimless look. One thing to note about the flight deck is that it does not come with two sets of lenses. It comes with one set of lens. You can order extra lenses later down the road, but a lot of, almost every goggle on here on this table has two sets of lenses, but this is one that does not. So yeah. um, that reflects in the price sometimes too. But the flight deck is big. It's beautiful. It's rimless. It again, and it's gonna have the triple foam, it has the dual pane lenses, and it has the Oakley Prism lens technology, which is uh, and the just one that I'm wearing amazing. right now is the Airbrake XL. It's new last season. It's a good fit, it's a it's pretty big. I wore it actually most of last season. And this is one that does come with two lenses. Yeah, so from the Oakley family, if you do want two sets of lenses, the Airbrake XL is the way to go. It also has a switch lock technology for changing out the lenses. And it also has another easier. really cool feature. It has the hidden uh, outrigger system for um, helmet compatibility. Yeah. So they're all okay. helmet compatible these days because almost everyone's wearing a helmet. But this one actually has this cool outrigger system, which just makes it a little it's bit nice. easier. And it kind of hides a little the, the switch lock button yeah. too, which is kind of cool. Why don't yeah. you try these on? I'll try those on so you can oh, see sure, sure, sure. the flight deck standard size on a on a smaller face and the Airbrake XL on a bigger face. Yeah, this is a nice goggle see. too. Yeah, it's good. All right, let's talk about the Line Miner, which was, again, a new addition. Yeah. No, it's out. This is its third season. season. 2018 is its third, third season. Really? Yeah, yeah, and I'll tell you why, because I recently started snowboarding again a couple seasons ago, and that was the first run I did. The first day it was with the line miner. So I have like this emotional connection I, to the line miner. Did you like know that about me and the line miner? I didn't know that. Yeah, so I really love the line miner. <laughs> so cute. It's an amazing goggle. It's really comfortable. I think it's one of those goggles that it's one size fits most. Yeah. It's not too it's big, right. it's not too small. Again, right. I, have, I have a big head, and I feel like it still fits me really well. It's also a cylindrical goggle, um, so it kind of gives you that kind of retro look that a lot of people are yeah. looking for. But it's it's made it's, a good it's made the way spherical goggles again. Are made, don't forget so it's better these optics. these all fit our inserts really well. We have more than just the one insert. You can see if you and saw his. Yeah, we have different yeah. designs, different sizes, and they fit really well in all the goggles that we sell. Um, and even though the, these don't come, most of the goggles don't come with an additional lens. You can buy additional lenses. Can, does the insert work better than? over the glass goggles? That's a good question. And yes, it does. So much better. Way, way so better. So much better. Don't even question <laughs> it. Okay, you so the Line Miner, uh, one of my personal favorites for nostalgic reasons. I just good. I just love this goggle, but it is a great it's goggle. goggle. It's a really nice goggle. It's pretty fair priced as well, so. Yeah. Big All right, what's next up is Anon. 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 It's Anon. I think it's There's Anon. There's a thing in literature that's Anon, A-N-O-N. And it's, but this it's, is a goggle, a... not a thing in literature. <laughs> you and your English degree. Okay, right. so we got the Anon. This is the M3, and the deal with the Anon is the magnets. Everybody. Everyone talks about the magnets. How easy was that? So, um, super so easy. awesome, so cool to But really secure. It's yeah, a, it's there, a great it's goggle. Not, it's, it's not, not gonna. Going don't anywhere. do that again. Yeah, it probably didn't look so good, but I just wanted to prove a point. Um, we really haven't had any issues of people having problems losing. It yeah, this in, is in this use. has been out for a long time, and what we like to say, and similar to our prescription inserts that again work really well with this goggle, is that if you fall 
and it's bad enough that that lens pops out, then you have bigger issues. <laughs> You're not worried about your goggle lens. If that, <laughs> yeah, then the goggle lens, because it stays in there really That's well. Not we have not, for as long as we've been selling this goggle, we have not gotten one report. I don't report. think I've gotten one complaint of, Seriously, of losing any, a shield. So yeah. don't worry about that. It, they're amazing goggles. Um, they also have this really cool system where uh, uh, a mouth of uh, face shield kind of yes. clips in here. The MFI, I think MIG. Yeah, it's really cool. So um, you're going to get two sets of lenses again. You're going to get something for sunny days and something for overcast days. This M3 right. has a cylindrical lens, so it gives you that really cool look. Again, you're going to get triple foam. You're going to get the silicone. I mean, this is I the best stuff, so this is just like solid. And one thing I like about Anon a lot is they're just constructed so well. There's no corners cut. These things are like yeah, workhorses. It like looks really clean. Season after season. And it and feels just, fantastic. Just like, it's a really <clears throat> good goggle. They were like made like a tank. I yeah, love it. Yeah, for sure. All right, so that's Anon. It's as functional as it is good looking. Yes, yeah, so and now we're going to jump Let's into about Spy. So the Legacy is the new one from Spy. And what I'm really loving about, especially this black colorway, is a little throwback to the uh, old logo and look. And they're just kind of yeah. like a new retro kind of thing that's happening. They're cool looking goggle and they have kept with the that same lens interchange uh, from tech, the tech that they the have, Bravo, from the Doom, yeah. which is really good. Yeah, so you're gonna get two it's sets solid. of lenses. There's a button here that you press and it changes out the lenses. Um, you're gonna get yeah, happy yeah, lenses, it's which is Fingerprint free. Yeah, that's, that's a good idea. Yeah. Uh, you're going to get two sets of lenses, triple foam, silicone, all the kind of good stuff. But one thing to note about the Legacy is the size of the Legacy. It's a big gun. I'm a big man and these are big goggles. I mean, big this gun. thing is like, Those this are thing big. is for real. So if you like the idea of the Legacy, but it's just a little bit too much too big, there's the Doom, which is really similar, still a big goggle, and then the smaller version of the Doom, Bravo. which is the Bravo. So kind of in the same family, but this Legacy is just this big, amazing, I think they named it well, it's like. Yeah, let me try it on. The Legacy. So yeah, they you should try it on. on. Face. You should try it on. It's a great goggle. Works with our insert. You know, you know what would be a good test, since that's the biggest goggle on here? Do you think it still fits this amazing, handy dandy SportRx travel case that even is vented so your goggles kind of I'll bet you off? it does. That was such a sales pitch. That felt <laughs> oh, good. <laughs> I like, need to do that once in a while, sorry. It's good. This is a good case. This is a great case, great travel case. We do sell them on our website. They're 30 bucks. Uh, if you're investing in a really good goggle. You and should this protect is, it. Yeah. Most of these goggles, some of them are cool, like dragons. Some of the dragons come with a nice case. It looks very similar but most to most of them some, don't. Most of them don't. Most of them just come with a little soft pouch. Yeah. Microfiber pouch, which is nice, but it's not gonna protect. Protect your investment. Really anything. So the big story with Pock this season is the Clarity Lens. The Clarity Lens is Phenomenal. We actually have a video on like all the Clarity lenses and which one to pick and why is there's one called Clarity Comp and regular Clarity, but there's nothing there's nothing regular about about it. And this is the Fovia goggle, which I think what I love about Pac is just the simplicity yeah. and the styling. A lot of these Pretty goggles are, are, I mean, I love them. They're amazing. And I'm kind of a loud, funky, weird dude anyway. And that, that's how the goggles are. They're just like so much. But if yeah. you want a really cool goggle, that's just a little more elegant and a little bit it's kinda their function smooth. all the way yeah. and form but simple form just simple clean yeah really really Looks nice good. goggle kind of on the bigger side but you cool know lens. that's what's happening you're, you're gonna get that clarity lens which is amazing triple foam uh just all the good stuff on everything there. you expect from a, an amazing goggle yeah. I got to ride in that goggle uh, last season at Park City and With they're, them. they're really nice. Yeah, we went out that's there, really cool. tested a bunch of stuff For out. You. They make amazing helmets as well. Yeah, this feels good. I love that goggle. That's such it's a, a nice good looking goggle. goggle. Yeah, I think if you just want it a little bit more buttoned up and to be a little bit more sophisticated, then that's the way you go. All right, so what's, I think, are we down to the last one? Yeah, we're down to the last one, man. But we got to talk about electric. Let's do it. So for electric, we have the EG3. It's a beautiful goggle. It's a good looking goggle. I'll try it on first. I think it's a, it's not a huge goggle. It actually fits me. It's got that rimless, it's interchangeable. And, Pretty uh, well. Electric has the new lens technology called Bros. Bros. Some people call it b -Rose. I'm b -Rose? I think Bros is the way to say it though. Yeah, bro Beautiful Brose. Looking. I like Brose. Yeah, this is another one that's got a pretty This is a good look. medium fit, by the way. Let me try throw, it on throw on that big on. Head. It's probably a little tight. So this is the EG3. A little tight even for me. Yeah, maybe a little bit tiny small for me, but it's just yeah. such a nice goggle. And now, now that Electric has that B-Rose Bros collection, I think right. they deserve to be on our now table of the table. goodness. 
they're in. Yeah. So that are that's it. That's the best. That's all of the best We've goggles. I mean, it's pretty amazing. You tell us which one is your favorite in the comment section. There's some amazing stuff out here. We're going to be out on the slopes all season long, getting to test more of these goggles and playing that's around. Right. And uh, like we said before, there's videos. I think on every single goggle on this table, we have its own video. It has versus videos, size guides, help guides, things like that. So hopefully you can subscribe to our channel and check out a lot more snow videos coming out this season. If this video was helpful at all, we'd love a thumbs up. And if you have any questions, you can also leave it down in the comment section or you can email info at sportrx.com. Again, we do sell all these goggles and we can do all of them in prescription. What?